Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you quickly how you can connect your IPVO document camera to your interactive flat panel. You may want to do this if you're experiencing any kind of difficulty with your IPVO document camera connected to your computer and uh, the IPVO visualizer software. A lot of folks have indicated that, uh, or not a lot, but a number of folks have indicated that they've been using their document camera and it's been going along just fine, then all of a sudden the IPVO visualizer software is going to switch over to the webcam or it's going to lock or freeze uh, the, the picture that you have in your document camera and then you have to get out of it and, and get back into it again in order to make it continue to work. So that's why you'd want to switch your document camera connected directly to your new line board. The caveat to that is this, if you need to record the lesson using OBS, soft, OBS Studio software or some other, uh, uh, some other recording software, this is not the method for you. You want your document camera to continue to be connected to your PC, if that's the case. If you don't care about recording the video to send it home to students, to put it up on Google Classroom or something like that, not a problem at all. You're just teaching in face-to-face, uh, -face, and at that point in time, you can connect your camera directly to the board and use the camera directly connected to the board and not have to worry about it freezing or reverting to the, uh, to the webcam, okay? All right, well, here's how to do that. Let's get started. Flip open the door on the lower left-hand corner of your interactive panel. You'll notice two USB 2.0 ports, a USB touch port, and an HDMI in. Take the cable from your document camera, that's a USB-A, and plug it into either one of the two USB 2.0 ports on the front of your board. You can also plug the document camera into the USB 2.0 or USB 3.0 ports around the back left-hand side of the board. The USB embedded port is designed for the wireless card that allows your board to be connected to the network. So don't plug it in there. Instead, use either the USB 3.0 or the USB 2.0 port on the back side of the board. The New Line Interactive Panel comes with an application called Visualizer, similar to the Visualizer software for the IPVO document camera. Um, to access that visualizer software, you simply have to tap on the gadgets button right here on your board and the visualizer software, which is over here, the visual visualizer app. That being said, if you like this method and want to continue to use it, tapping on gadgets and tapping on visualizer means two taps. If you don't like that and you want to make it a quicker uh, access to the, you want to have quicker access to the visualizer software, you can simply press the add button down here in the lower left hand corner. And over here, you can select this red uh, tab at the top, and you'll find Visualizer located here. Tapping on that adds Visualizer down here on the left-hand side of the board so that you can easily launch the Visualizer software. Okay, once you've got your document camera connected to your board, all you have to do is tap on the Visualizer software to launch it. When the Visualizer software comes up, you may see the image underneath your document camera if your document camera is connected and if it's turned on. If, however, you don't see it, your document camera is connected and turned on and you don't see the image, it's probably because the board is trying to look at a different camera that it doesn't have. So simply tap on this little icon right down here to switch the camera feeds from a black screen to the camera feed, to the camera feed that is your document camera. Okay, the, I'm not going to go over this button right now, um, but I'm going to talk about these two. These two buttons will allow you to rotate your image. This button over here is going to allow you to make some adjustments to your image, such as brightness, contrast, saturation, and sharpness. Uh, this button right here allows you to uh, ha change some of the settings. When you first launch the, the, uh, the software, you're probably sitting at 1280 by 720 um, resolution, which is not full HD, and your document cameras are full HD. So it wouldn't be a bad idea for you to tap on that uh, settings cog, change the 1280 by 720 to 1920 by 1080, so you take full advantage of the HD quality of your document camera. Okay, uh, you have different image modes here. You can turn it to a document or a picture, and you can play with those and see what those do for you. Um, and there are some gestures that you can take a look at here. 
um, pinch to zoom in and out, etc. You can learn some of that right there under gestures. Okay? All right. On this side over here, we've got the opportunity to go to a split screen where you can take a look at the image over here and you can drag in another image over here if you have the opportunity to do that. Okay? Um, over here, tapping on that, that's going to leave Visualizer. Okay, it's going to open the whiteboard. Okay, so you can choose to do that if you want to. And this button right down here allows you to actually annotate right over the top of this image. This is the button that I think that you're going to get the most use out of. So you tap on that button right, that, right there, and this is going to bring that little red X over the top of this icon here on the top of your menu bar. We talked a little bit about that during training. So now you have full access to the annotation tools that are built into the board. Okay, not on Windows, not on your PC, but this is built into the board. So you can change your colors, change your pens, highlight, um, choose a highlighter tool and highlight things. You can annotate things if you want to, etc. You can select them, erase them. If you want to erase all of your annotations, you can tap on that button right there and select clear. There's an undo and redo button over there. One of the tools that I think you should definitely take a look at is in settings. Tapping on the settings icon will turn off that auto screenshot. So if you wanted to leave right now, if you wanted to leave the, uh, the annotation and you were to tap on this little button at the top of your menu bar, because it's got that little red X on it, remember, to get rid of my annotation, right? So I'm annotating. I'm annotate, 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 and you wanted to leave that annotation, you could tap on that little red X, it takes a screenshot and sends it away, okay? If you don't want to take a screenshot every single time you tap on that button, you can actually turn that off. I didn't know that when we were doing training and I just learned it, so I'm gonna share it with you now. I'm gonna go back into that uh, annotation mode right there. I'm going to tap on settings right down there. And now I'm going to turn this auto screenshot off. So I just tap on that to turn auto screenshot off, which means now when I want to annotate, I have my red X, I can select my tool, I can annotate whatever I want to annotate. Now when I tap on that screenshot button, it simply clears the annotation. I'm out of annotation mode and back in just viewing my document camera, okay? Once you're totally done with your annotation, once you're totally done uh, showing and demonstrating whatever it is that's under your document camera and you want to exit the document camera software, simply tap on the little icon here in the lower right hand corner, exit visualize, you're sure you want to exit, answer yes, takes you back to your home screen. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you, and I hope those of you that have been struggling a little bit with your document camera um, kind of wigging out on you and, and, and freezing or turning black screen or going to, uh, uh, going to the webcam, I hope this uh, helps you out a little bit and gives you a little bit of an idea of another way that you can connect your document camera, not even, not even connect it to your PC, and still do a lot of great annotations and not have any problems with it, uh, with it going to a black screen or freezing on you or jumping to the webcam. All right? Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any problems.